right. Good morning, everybody. My name is Peter Zacharias. I am the uh, senior utility system specialist for the wastewater reclamation facility here in Hobbs, New Mexico. We serve a population of 43,000 people, roughly, and produce 3.2 million gallons of wastewater a day. Most of our wastewater comes from residential sources with a few industrial contributors. After this wastewater is treated, we mostly use the effluent water for irrigation of our city parks and provide irrigation for farmers in the area. In order to treat this incoming wastewater, we uh, separate the flow into three trains with three basins each. Each basin is populated with microorganism which will uh, degrade the waste. It helps to separate the solids from the water. In order to keep those uh, biological entities in alive, like every breathing organism, they will require oxygen. And this is what's happening in those uh, nine basins we have here. We're introducing oxygen into the basin on a 24-7 basis. An indication of the oxygen provided for the biological uh, creatures is a DO probe, dissolved oxygen probe, which measures the amount of oxygen left in the basin after the bug population has done their work and used the oxygen up to sustain life. Their function is to measure the amount of available oxygen in milligrams per liter. As everybody can imagine, pumping this much air for 24 hours, 7 days a week will cost a lot of energy. The accuracy of those probes becomes very critical in trying to save energy and not over irrate any of those basins. On the other hand, we also have to use them uh, in the respect of not to under irrate our basins, otherwise our bug population will die off and the whole process will quit functioning. During their operation, we uh, have a biological phenomenon that's called zoological film. It, every uh, aeration basin has this, which will grow on everything that's immersed in water. Unfortunately, also on those DO probes. The system we had in place right now had no option for an automatic cleaning so the operator had to go around about every two week, every two days to clean the probes to get an accurate reading that brought us to look to different manufacturers to find probes with an auto clean function uh, doing that we came across ABB which had the option to air clean each probe with an air compressor. Working with ABB was absolutely great because they told us yeah we have this kind of system you're looking for and we are willing to let you test this, equip this equipment for three months free of charge. If you don't like it, you send it back. If, if you do like it, keep it and pay for it. That in our opinion was already a good point because it shows that ABB stand behind their product. Alright guys, here on this probe you are seeing all this slime build up 
some red worms and hairs and everything get caught on this probe. But close-up shots shows that the measuring window is still clean. And that is due to the air compressor pumping air across the probe in we have it set up for 60 every 60 minutes to uh, pump 60 seconds of air and uh, give it two minute recovery time. ABB has created a program in their controller where as soon as the air cleaning starts it stops the output the measuring output at the last value and then after the three minutes have expired it will go back into measuring mode. That way we will never have a falsified read during the cleaning time. Another big plus of this system uh, which ABB calls by the way Aztec system is the fact that this controller here is able to control four probes which means in our application I only need one controller for three trains on this side one controller for three trains on that side and a, another controller for the other train right now we are actually having nine controllers controlling one probe only which is a logistic nightmare if you think about uh, stocking critical spare parts. You cannot wait a uh, couple weeks for a controller when aeration is critical. In this case I only have to stock two maybe three controllers just in case one fails I can swap them out easily. It's a really cost effective and for the for the maintenance guy who has to worry about stocking spare parts, absolute plus. So this is the control room here. This is where we collect all the data and make it visible for the operators. On the big screen right now, you see the trend for the ABB probe we have installed on a 30 day uh, period. And if you you can see on September the 2nd, it was around 3 to 4.5 uh, percent dissolved oxygen. And of course, during the day, according to the loading of the plant, the demand rises and falls. And that's why we have this uh, erratic looking trend which is not really erratic but where it gets interesting here is around 14 days later here is where all the probe starts to deteriorate uh, this is not normal anymore so unfortunately the operator didn't erect, react fast enough until here where he started to clean the probe and everything came back up but we went from almost every two days of cleaning the probe to a 14 day span, which is amazing. So, uh, and that's due to the air cleaning uh, air compressor we have, and it keeps the slime pretty much under control. Um, you can see on this screen over here, I don't know if you can zoom in on that, you can see how some of the probes are already so bad that they are not really functioning anymore. That's why we had to uh, find a different solution. And obviously we choose ABB for reasons uh, super support we got from from everybody involved uh, a cost was a big factor and of course that uh, your 
controller is able to control up to four probes, which none of your competitor can do. So brings a big cost saving for us because we only need three controllers to control nine probes versus what we have now, nine controllers for nine probes. You know, so it's a cost reduction.